Hi, Mark here again with another pond tip. This week I want to do a continuation or a little bit of a follow-up from something we talked about last week regarding predator control and keeping your pond fish safe from predators. Um, you know, we talked about a lot of different things last week, uh, some devices where you can help control herons and uh, raccoons and feral cats and things like that. And uh, I, I think the information will be useful for a lot of people. But I got an email this week from a friend of ours in Ohio. His name is Wes, and he mentioned something I hadn't even thought of. Uh, it's a predator that is, is, is likely quite common in certain parts of the country and um, it could do a lot of damage to a fish population in a pond, and that is mink. Mink. Um, never would have thought of that myself. Uh, the thing about this type of creature and Wes himself had admitted that he probably wouldn't have even thought about it, except for the fact that he saw one slip in his pond one afternoon. Um, the, the interesting thing about mink, having done a little more research on this, is that they are actually related to the otter family, uh, same, same genus. So they love the water, they're very comfortable swimming, can swim underwater, and they like fish. And uh, chances are that if you have ruled out a lot of these other species, nothing is seemingly obvious to you, mink may be a consideration, uh, something to look at. I would definitely research. We've included a link below with some more information on mink in the United States and uh, some of their habits and habitat. But, uh, uh, you know, if you're, if you're in doubt of what could be causing problems, um, it might be a good idea to set up a live capture. There's really only two, I think, workable solutions, maybe three, where it comes to mink, you could use a very impenetrable covering. Again, chicken wire may be useful. Uh, I'm not even sure if this would stop them if they really wanted to get in there and found a, a small enough hole. But uh, trapping, both live trapping and, and hiring a commercial trapper may be viable solutions. Again, you want to check with your game commission to make sure this is uh, acceptable to do. But uh, trapping is probably the most logical and foolproof way to really deal with this kind of problem. Uh, mink can be voracious hunters, and they're very aggressive and uh, uh, quite interesting creatures, but they could cause a lot of problems for fish in your pond. So I wanted to mention that and wanted to thank Wes for sharing that information with us. Uh, one other thing that Wes did point out, which... I was uh, I was shocked by it, totally, and that is, you know, he said, Mark, like me, you have a face made for radio, and uh, I uh, I thought about it for a minute, and you know, in my younger days, I would have probably ignorantly taken that as a compliment, but um, I got to thinking about it, and I thought, well, you know, have I really slipped that far? And just to prove, I wanted to show you a shot from my earlier days to show you that yes, at one point, I really did have a face made for television, but uh, hey. Time gets us all, right? So I do the best I can. If this particular face is offensive to you, please look away from the screen, listen to my voice. You can still get the quality of the tips, and you don't have to look at me. So, Wes, that's for you. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for your great tip, by the way, on the mink. And uh, we'll see you again real soon. Enjoy your pond.